should direct payments go to landlords or to or to farmers, tenant farmers? They should go to both. There's absolutely no no doubt about that. If you're, I mean, direct payments should be able to go to whoever needs it. If you are a um, a, a landowner who is selling a a, a, a crop of grass, then you should. Obviously, it's your, your you have to cross comply. You have to um, you should should take the payment for that. Uh, but if you're if you're a landlord who is in a a, a, a tenancy agreement, then the, the tenant who occupies and controls the ground should should take the payment. It's perfectly um, clear that we don't have any ideological hang-ups about demanding that it's the owner of the land who does it. We want as much flexibility as possible in the system. And we want as few rules as possible in terms of, of land tenure. I think that's that's what you'll see on, on landlord and tenant from my point of view. I don't want I want as close to freedom as contractors uh, freedom of contract as we can get to enable the businesses, great businesses out there that need to be able to develop. And I think we'll always oppose anything that's going to be a barrier to developing farming businesses and the relationships between landlords and tenants, sorting stuff out to in a way that suits both of them. And, and outside of agriculture, what do you see as being the, the biggest issue in the countryside at the moment? Planning, probably. I mean, planning causes our members huge amounts of concern. And uh, it, it's not surprising. For years, our members have been frustrated by a planning system which basically prevents them from expanding their businesses, or if you're getting anywhere near doing anything, becomes incredibly expensive. But I think um, we've got the national planning policy framework out in consultation at the moment, the consultation period is finished. Uh, we've made a, a, a strong submission for that, but I would hope that if we can, if the government stick to their guns on the uh, presumption in favour of sustainable development, I think that would make a huge impact on our members as a whole. They really are affected by planning, it's a big, big subject and in, in, in all areas. And so I think off, outside of farming, that's probably the key issue at the moment. And you, you reject the suggestion from some quarters that uh, the, the national planning policy framework will lead to concreting over the countryside? Completely, completely. I, 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 I don't know where that comes from because um, you know, everything I've read says this, but actually at the end of the day it, it's a presumption in favour of sustainable development. There's plenty of protection in, in, in place, and, and which is outlined in the NPPF. There's plenty of protection for the countryside. Um, this is a presumption in favour of sustainable development. And I mean, how you get from that to concreting over the countryside is completely beyond me. It's a link I can't make.